Hello everyone and let's check out a very interactive, a very beautiful chess game. In this chess game we have Lev Polgovsky, one of the leading chess players at the time, around 1960s until 1980s. A very strong chess player and his opponent was Eugenio Torre, the first ever chess grandmaster from Philippines. So this chess game was played in 1984 in London, England. And Lev Polgovsky's chess games are truly a delight. To study so this is one of his notable chess games let's see what happened in this chess game d4 we have d5 and the game is slow defense so knight to c3 d takes on c4 a4 developing the pieces and bishop takes on c4 pretty standard stuff both players castled queen to e2 developing the knight and then e4 bishop goes back and bishop to d3 bishop to h5 bishop to f4 and then rook over, pushing the pawn knight to d5. So attacking the bishop, capturing the knight, and then h3. Bishop to e7, and rook over, placing the rook in the open file. So rook uh, a6, rook to c3, planning to double the rook, maybe. So capturing the knight, and then in this position, Eugenio Torre decided to reposition his knight, and he played knight to b8. So basically he wants to play knight to c6 uh, and that's actually a logical idea knight on c6 is going to be much more effective but Lev Polgevsky decided to Greek gift Greek gift bishop takes on h7 the Greek gift sacrifice and this is an incredible attack we have king takes on h7 and then queen to h5 check and king goes back and then after lifting the rook he played rook to g3 and lining the rook with the king so in this position, bishop to h6 is going to be a very strong move. And if developing the knight, bishop to h6 is coming. And unfortunately, Eugenio Torre couldn't find the best move, the best defensive move. And he played g6. Instead of this move, bishop to f8 should have been considered. And this is, it looks very passive, but this was the most accurate defense in this position. So we have lining the rook with the king and g6, but this fails to smashing in with the rook. Rook takes on g6. So capturing the rook and then check and maybe it looks like at worst white has drove. And we have checking, uh, capturing the pawn with checking the king and we have king to h8. Queen to h6, king to g8, checking the king. King to h8, it looks like it is going to be drove by repetition. But... In this position, if king to f8, then bishop to h6, and this is going to be checkmate. So black can never play king, he can never play king to f8. So after checking the king, king to h8, and queen to h5 check this time, this is a different move. So Polgevsky wants to play bishop to h6 and adding one more attacker. So king to g8, and then bishop to h6, and queen to g6 is going to be checkmate after moving the king queen to g7 so defending actually it looks like this is the only defense and then checking the king after moving the king capturing the bishop and threatening checkmate so what else rook takes on f8 but this move is not working because of check and if moving the king then rook to a3 and how to defend rook to g3 and there is no sensible defense in this position so Instead of that, instead of king to g8, if queen to h7, then we have check, and this is a deadly check. So you can't block with the queen. So king to g8, and then rook to a3, and there is no sensible defense against rook to g3, and black is getting checkmated. He's not going to survive for too long. Okay, so in this position, after capturing the bishop, we have rook takes on f8 and then checking the king after moving the king lifting the rook up and Eugenio Torre resigned what a ferocious brutal attack by Lev Polgevsky so let me show you the possible continuation the rook is coming let's play a developing move then we have check and then check check and basically black is getting checkmated by force so in this position, if hoping to escape, then we have rook to f3 check, king to e7, and then check, and this is getting checkmated. And if king to e6, this is also 
losing after rook takes on f8 and easily winning for white. So what do you think about this chess game? Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.